Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. We have our suspension trainer today. If you don't have a suspension trainer, that's okay. Make sure you grab some dumbbells. You're going to need them for the workout. We're going to be doing a front squat to start. So if you have a suspension trainer, bring those straps down to about three quarters of the way down. So mid height is about here. We're going to pull it down. We're going to pull these straps in to where they're underneath our arms, grabbing onto the handles. And then we're going to get into a position where those fists are right up here into the armpits. And we're going to be in that severely angled position. We're coming down and up. Okay, that's a front squat for the suspension trainer. If you don't have that, grab some dumbbells. You're going to be putting the dumbbells up here on your shoulders. And you're going to squat just normally. Now I want, it, I want you to be aware of your booty and make sure that you stick that butt back. Putting the weight through the heels and those um, dumbbells are resting in front of your shoulders to so provide a little bit of weight forward. That's called a front squat. Okay, keeping the chest up, booty back, weight through the heels. All right, after the front squat here, we'll have been in this position where those um, hands are up here in this, the armpits. Now we're gonna pull them up and around so that the straps are on the outside of our arms. We're gonna come down into a chest press. I'm on my toes, and then I'm gonna bring my arms straight out into a fall out. So we're gonna go from a chest press into a fall out. Okay, and that's the second exercise. If you do not have a suspension trainer, you're gonna do a push up. Push up. You can do a reach, reach, push up, and a reach, reach. Okay. And then we have alligators after that. I'm gonna bring these back up to mid height. With alligators, we're gonna be pulling my right arm up while the left arm comes down, then come back to middle, and then alternate. Left arm goes up, right arm goes down. And then this whole time, I'm keeping the fist down toward the floor. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing with the set of dumbbells. Probably gonna need like five pounders here. 10 is just a little too much. <laughs> All right. After that, we're gonna do rows. We're gonna do a low row, so our elbows are gonna be tucked into our side and we're just pulling straight back. Every time you're doing a exercise with a suspension train, you wanna make sure that belly button is tucked in tight. You're either pivoting off your heels or your toes, and your body is angled to give you the best amount of resistance for your body. And you'll know what that is. Now, for rows with dumbbells, you're just bending over at the waist, back is flat, and pulling. Straight up. We have a one-legged burpee, so you're going to take that suspension trainer all the way down. You're going to loop the foot in, <laughs> and then you're going to balance. So we're going to do one leg for this one round, and then we'll switch to the other leg. So you're coming down, popping that one leg back, bring it forward, and standing up. And you're just going to do that all, you know, as much as you can for 30 seconds. Now, if you don't have a suspension trainer, you're going to do a regular burpee. So jumping up, coming down. Okay, that's the first 30 seconds. The second 30 seconds, you're gonna do a plank jack. So you're down on your plank and you're jacking it out while we do our second set of one-legged burpees. Okay, so that is it for now. Let's get our warm-up going. All right. Good morning, Crystal. Starting your towel workout. All right, let's Good start with the high knee skip. Make sure you turn on your watches. So I just forgot to do that. There we go. Kick that foot out there.
Let's do our one, two, three, jog and scoop. One, two, three, heel down, toe up. Scoop it out, switch sides.
Exercise. All right, coming down on both hands. Pop that foot out. Pop it back up and jump. Or you're just doing regular burpees right now. If you don't have a suspension trainer. We're going to move these straps back up to mid height. Well, actually, let's do three quarter height. Not all the way to mid because those front squats require a little bit more length. And we're starting with that. behind you, get them underneath those armpits. This, right into the armpits, feet all the way back. And there we go. Exercise. You can do your jump if you want to, but we're doing our squats off those toes.
one-legged burpee. Get that strap down. Toe in the loop strap. You can feel this in your quads. <laughs> Let's go. 
Exercise. Elbows straight back.
It's to the other side. Rest that body through the plank. Kind of slouch through it and pull that heel into the butt. Deep breath in. Let's go onto our back. Pull those knees into the chest. Rock side to side. We're going to take that left leg, or sorry, right leg. Whatever leg you want to do, it doesn't matter. We're going to do both sides. <laughs> We're going to drop that right leg in my case. We're going to fold that left knee over into a cross body stretch. And take my left arm and pull it straight out to the side so I get a stretch through the chest. Big breaths here. Let's go ahead and come onto our back. Bridge up, clearing that SI joint. All right, we're gonna do the other side. So left leg for me goes straight, and I'm gonna bring my right knee over, and then my right arm straight out to the side. Deep breaths here. Melt into the stretch on the exhalation. Let's come onto our back, bridging it up, bring those knees into the chest, rock side to side. All right, that is it for today, you guys. Thanks for joining me. See you back here on Monday for our AMRAP workout. As many rounds as possible in 12 minutes total. Three rounds in four minutes. We'll see you back here Monday, guys. Have a great weekend.